Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given the open base circuit and for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the output voltage. So here, we have been given that the given open is the ideal open and as you can see, here the silicon transistor is connected in the feedback path of this open. So if you see over here, then the given transistor is the NPN transistor. So as you can see, the collector terminal of the transistor is connected to the inverting terminal of the OPM while the emitter terminal is connected to the output terminal. And here, the base terminal is connected to the ground terminal. So for the given circuit, first of all we need to find out whether this transistor is in the on condition or the off condition. So if the transistor is in the off condition, then the OPM will operate in the open loop condition. So if it is operating in the open loop condition, then it will act as a comparator and in that case its output voltage will be either plus 15 volt or the minus 15 volt. But if this transistor is in the on condition then the op will operate in the closed loop configuration and in that case the output of the op will depend on the condition of the transistor. So here first of all let us find out whether this transistor is in the on condition or the off condition. So first of all let us assume that the given op is operating in the open loop condition. So in this condition if you see, then this V- minus or the inverting terminal of the op is at the 5 volt. Because in this condition, since the no current is going into the op terminal, so there will be no voltage drop across this 1 kilo ohm resistor. And because of that, the voltage at this node will be equal to 5 volt. On the other end, this V plus or the voltage at this non-inverting terminal is equal to 0 volt. So in this condition if you see, then this V- minus is greater than V+. Plus. And therefore, the output of the op or this V out is equal to minus V set. Or in this condition, that is equal to minus 15 volt. That means if the op is operating in the open loop configuration, then this V out will be equal to minus 15 volt. So if the output of the op is at the minus 15 volt, then let's see what will happen to the transistor. So now we know that this VB is at the 0 volt and this terminal is the emitter terminal. So we can say that in this condition, this base voltage is at the 0 volt while the emitter voltage is at the minus 15 volt. So here, since the base voltage is greater than emitter voltage, so this base emitter junction will get forward biased and therefore this voltage VB will become 0.7 volt because here we have been given that this given transistor is the silicon transistor. Therefore, here we are assuming that this VB is equal to 0.7 volt. That means now, this VB for the given transistor is equal to 0.7 volt. That means initially, when the op is operating in the open loop configuration, then the base emitter terminal of this transistor is at the 0.7 volt. And apart from that, if you see over here, then there is a physical connection between the collector terminal of the transistor and the inverting terminal. So because of that, now the op will operate in the closed loop configuration. And as you know, in the closed loop configuration, we can apply the concept of the virtual ground. So here, this node or this inverting node of the op will be also at the 0 volt. And the same voltage will also appear at the collector terminal. So here we can say that the collector terminal of the transistor is also at the 0 volt. That means here both base and the collector terminal of the transistor is at the 0 volt while the emitter terminal is at the minus 0.7 volt because as you know this VB is equal to 0.7 volt or from this we can say that this VB minus VE is equal to 0.7 volt. So here since the VB is equal to 0 volt so we can say that this emitter terminal is at the minus 0.7 volt. And here, this emitter terminal is same as the output terminal. So from this we can say that the output of the op is also equal to minus 0.7 volt. So we can say that for the given circuit, the output voltage is equal to minus 0.7 volt. And therefore, for the given question, this B is the correct answer.